Hello everyone, welcome you all. This is Suresh from Mesra Automation Channel. Today in this session, we're gonna see how to run Selenium Java project from Jenkins Jobs. So far we have seen how we have created a Jenkins server and how we installed or run the var file and how we have run a couple of batch files. So in this session, we're gonna see how we can run entirely a Selenium project which is used for our automation setup which is helpful to run UI automation test cases so to do this we need certain requirements so we need Jenkins war file selenium java project and uh, java to be installed in our system so let's make this Jenkins to run so I have a folder in my desktop which is Jenkins here so I'm gonna run CMD from here so anywhere you have the var file you can directly open cmd from there if you are on a windows system and if you are on a linux max open open your terminal and navigate to your jenkins var file location to launch it we need to type java jar jenkins as i have a lesser version of java 8 so i need to enable this enable future java so this flag i need to set to run my jenkins so it is running now let's give it time so until it's fully starting up and running so after, before that i will open eclipse so eclipse i need to open i will open a project from my eclipse So all the plugins are getting loaded. All right, now Jenkins is fully up and running. Let me go to the browser. You can open any browser. And uh, let me type local host, local host 8080. So this is the port where my Jenkins server is up and running. Right, I need to sign in. So in case if you are new to this session and you wanted to learn Jenkins, so do watch my earlier sessions where I have shown you complete details from installation of Jenkins server, creating user login, then creating a sample jobs and all the details. So do visit them. I will share link in the description right so it has started so I have a couple of uh, sample sessions which I have created as part of other sessions uh, let me uh, close this window and go back to my Eclipse right so here I have created one Java project let me open this uh, to specific I have created uh, Jenkins Java project so this is a project that I had that I've created Jenkins Java project so in this, I just created one package with one sample test case. So let me show you the test case also. It's, it's nothing different or big logic here. So it's just launching a website and trying to capture the title and uh, adding a session on it. So generally we write all the test cases like this in Selenium, right? So I have prepared in the similar manner. And this is the one. And after that, I have created a testng.xml file. So this is a testng.xml file. So this is a test ng uh, xml file which is pointing to my package dot test case class and then we have a libraries here so i have stored the drivers folder here to make this chrome driver available so in case if you wanted to learn selenium projects and how to implement i have prepared complete beginner series i will share the link in the description you can find from there and where it is from very basic to the advanced level and I have a libraries folder here. So under that libraries folder, I have Selenium uh, server and the testng jar file. And we have a bat run.bat file being created. So this is nothing. Uh, it's very simple. It's just specifying or setting up class name. So specifying class name is nothing but we need to point the class path to our bin directory so which is nothing but when you open uh, when you create this project it will also create a bin directory 
and after that bin directory we have libraries so libraries is nothing but whenever we create or add the build plugins we we need jar files so as we are working with selenium right selenium with java project we need a different jar files to uh, support our selenium code so here i have only two jars in your case you might be having the n number of jar files based on your project so to handle all those things we will keep keep those libraries or we will keep all them in the libraries folder and we will point them and after setting up this we need to run the java command java command is nothing but which is uh, uh, running the using the the class path which we have set using that it will create a testng class to be triggered our testng.xml file so let me open this let me i will click and open i think it started running let me close this i need to open it open with text editor yet so this is a set so this is my project location which is my e for e directory after that we need to set the class path so class path is nothing but which is need to be uh, a bin directory and then we need a libraries directory libraries directory where i am storing all the jar files after that we're gonna use this java command org.testng and we need to set the project location with testng.xml file so here you don't see the bin file right let me go to my project location so that you will doubt will also get resolved so i can go to this project location so after this uh, going to this project location i need to type cmd just type the di dir directory once you type the directory i think it is opening the multiple projects let me go inside this project so i'm gonna cmd here i'm gonna type in directory so you can see this here we have a bin we have a libraries folder class path project all this so basically we have everything we need to just set the path so i'm gonna run directly the batch file which is nothing but run so i'm gonna running from my local so just double click to that batch file it will trigger our automation suit so it is running now so it says chrome driver was started successfully and i have did one more session i mean earlier i did one session on this setting up class path and how to work with class path creating a batch file so i will provide that link in the description you can find from there and it is executed and it has run and passing is one so one test case is executed one test case is passed and let me go to the jenkins server and here i'm gonna use this new item and i'm gonna name this as selenium java project right i'm gonna use a freestyle click ok so batch file has to be created to run uh, from our local within the jenkins server and after creating this i'm gonna provide this as test selenium java project and then we need to add our project location here so to do that so let me see we have a local folder path we don't have a so and i'm going to use advanced options so you have this use custom workspace so it will provide it will ask us to provide the directory location so we need to go to the particular project location in our local i think it's pointing to different let me go back and come here so this is a project location i'm gonna provide here after that it is not a uh, source code. i mean it is asking for the source code management so as i'm using a local uh, to point our automation in the jenkins server i'm leaving this as none then uh, if you go to this build environment so we will discuss all this in later session so i'm gonna use this build so i'm gonna simply build this job so i'm gonna use this uh, execute windows batch command 
so i have named the batch file as run dot bat so batch extension is nothing but bat so i'm gonna simply apply and save so i'm just just running our project using a batch file right so click save so i have kept this batch file in my project location if you go back to eclipse so i have kept the run dot batch in my local i mean in my project location so so the reason is it has to trigger immediately using the same path so whichever path i am in so it will take that path as a project location and it will open so i can put this in anywhere so that doesn't matter but uh, i'm just simply providing a run dot bat so that is the reason i need to provide that run dot bat file in my project location only and i'm gonna simply build this so you have this build now so you will see the status check changes workspace and build now you can click on this it will build the new project and you will see this here build history you can go this uh, build histories and you can click on that link and it will start running our project you can go to the console outputs uh, it is rand and it has given the results also but let me see i mean let me rerun for again let me rerun to show you the how it has executed so you, you can see here i'm running again so it will show you the second one i'm gonna open go to the console outputs so you can see there is a chrome browser open and it has immediately closed because we have only one test case i think it's a very short shortest one which has executed very fast so you wanted to see the browser which is running or not so let me leave as it is so that it will open the browser so this is the browser ah, it has closed so this is how we execute our project selenium java project pointing to our local so, so Jeng using a Jenkins server to point to our local project and pick up project and execute using a run batch file using a batch file so batch file is nothing but setting up class path this might be asked in a number of interview questions that how you trigger the selenium java project using the command line you can simply say that we have to set the class path first then after we need to call the uh, test ng uh, command which is nothing but org dot test ng and point to our test ng dot xml file it will trigger our automation project i hope this session is helpful for you in case if you are new to my channel do subscribe to my channel and if you have any questions queries you can post in the comment section i will help you out and if the session is helpful for you do post a like and share with colleague thank you